Hello everyone. My name is Eunhee No. I'm from Gaming University in Korea. My title is Synthesis, Properties and Electrochemical Characteristics of Silicon Nanoparticles, Carbon Nanotube, Reduced Graphene Oxide Composite, Films for the Anode Material of Lithium Ion Batteries. In this study, I synthesized a composite film with silicon nanoparticles, carbon nanotube, reduced graphene oxide, using a simple dispersion technique and physical ventilation. Figure 1 shows the preparation of the silicon nanoparticles, carbon nanotube, reduced graphene oxide composite film. Silicon nanoparticles and carbon nanotube powder were added to ethanol and stirred followed by sonication. Subsequently, the graphene oxide aqueous solution was added to the silicon nanoparticles carbon nanotube solution and sonicated. Silicon nanoparticles carbon nanotube graphene oxide dispersion was vacuum filtrated using a PTFE film to obtain a composite film which was dried. The resulting composite film was put in a horizontal coarse tube and the temperature was raised to 550 degrees with constant flow of argon. In this manner, a thermally reduced silicon nanoparticles carbon nanotube reduced graphene oxide composite film was finally prepared. Time analysis was performed to investigate the shape and composition of the prepared samples. The round shape, silicon nanoparticles, and wrinkled graphene sheets were observed in the silicon nanoparticles reduced graphene oxide composite film. In Figure 2, D, E, F, long and thin C carbon nanotubes were found, and it was observed that the carbon nanotubes formed a wooden structure with the silicon nanoparticles reduced graphene oxide in the composite film. Next is XRD patterns. First, the ZO showed a strong and narrow peak. However, the RGO showed a broad peak corresponding to graphene. The characteristic peak of the GO disappeared after the thermal reduction. This result indicates that the GO was successfully reduced to RGO. In the silicon nanoparticles carbon nanotube reduced graphene oxide composite film, it was shown that the catalyst peak of the amorphous carbon, the crystalline silicon peaks, and the carbon nanotube peaks appeared, suggesting that the structure of each compound remained unchanged even after the reaction and the composite film was successfully synthesized. Next is XBS spectra. When comparing figure 4 A and B, the intensity of the carbon oxide single bond peak significantly decreased because of the loss of oxygen after reduction. Therefore, the intensities of the carbon oxide single bond, carbon oxide double bond, and carboxy bond peaks are reduced in D. When comparing peak of both C and D, in peak of both C after the addition of carbon nanotubes, peaks corresponding to XP3 bond and peaks corresponding to pi bond are observed. As shown in figure 4 the intensity of the XP3 carbon peaks increased as RGO and CNTs were bound by reduction of GO and CNTs. The composite films were prepared by varying the volume of dispersion and measured electrochemical characterization. The initial discharge capacity was high in the order of 20, 25, and 30 ml. The 25 ml composite film maintained a capacity of 198 mAh hour per gram at the current density of 0.1 ampere per gram even after 30 cycles. 
The Columbian efficiency of each electoral showed an efficiency of 99% or more up to 30 cycles. Thank you for your kind attention.